Greetings YouTube, Monday the 6th of March and you'll be glad to see I'm getting ready to put it back on the tower. I had to sort out some of the wiring here uh, but it's okay now so what needs to happen is this bit, the adapter that I had to make, that's going to go on here and then the turbine will be joined on. With regards to stuff I do differently next time, which should be the main focus of the video, I want to get rid of this, again I want to get rid of this. And I want a bearing fitted to the bottom of the frame here, so all this would come off, then have a bearing there, and that will go on here. And then it would eliminate this and this. That's one for the future. Second thing I'd do, I'd move the motor further forward. As you can see, it could do with being as far forward as possible, I'd have the chain around this side. Uh, so yeah, I'd move that forward. I'd stick with this because I really like the way you can adjust the angle of the frame. Uh, I'll stick with a similar kind of thing with these frame brackets where you can just adjust it up and down quite easily. Uh, the tail, uh, I'll have a similar tail. Uh, people ask why it doesn't have a furling tail. And the simple reason is with a axial flux like a Hugh Piggott one, all of the weight is right at the front. Uh, if you had it from the side, you'd have all the weight here, just here, and then you'd have your pivot point off the back. They work very well but I can't see any way of integrating it properly because of the length of the frame. I 100% want to stick with the basic design principle, which is this drive shaft driving the motor. And you can see the new gear on there now. The chain is very slack. Right, it just seems to work better that way. One thing it might do is it might allow, that little bit of slack might allow the wind just to get started. The blades to move just a tiny little bit. Uh, slip ring assembly, this doesn't have one, but that's something for the future I need to build. The next one will have three gears on it that I will have to adjust manually. I can't think of a way of doing it electronically. Another idea with regards to the tail, I would quite like to have a tail which could have a hinge here, and then you'd use one of those uh, electrical activator things. I've completely forgotten what they're called. They're like a pneumatic like push rod thing to push the tail out of the way. So that would be something for the future. Uh, everything's bolted on and ready to go. I've got some help. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that before it goes up. I mean, this thing is really spinny. I'm gonna leave the magnet off uh, and put the tail in as long as I can. And then hopefully we'll get something. I'm not gonna do the 12 blades for the minute. I can't be bothered. So we'll get these beauties back on. We'll get these beauties back on and I'm still going to use the other six, I think. So in the next video, hopefully you'll see it up in the sky and I'll catch up with you soon. Sort of close up of that. And the gears, wicked. See you soon guys, wish me luck. Ah, oh, it's supposed to be a monster storm on Saturday. So yeah, we'll uh, try and get ready for that and then hopefully we'll see you then. Cheers.